Watch as I turn this maple syrup jar into a mini resurrection jar. First things first, make sure you pick a nice open body of fresh water. If you're in Florida, make sure there's no gators. There were some here, but just didn't see any. I get myself deep into nature and observe the beauty and I'm gonna try and recreate this in a tiny jar. So generally you don't wanna add mud and sand, uh, but I'm gonna add this just to see what happens. Uh, if you want a longer successful resurrection jar, just add dead decaying leaves, uh, it does well. Now that this resurrection jar is back at the studio under some good light, I can really see that this is going to be an active and beautiful living little resurrection jar. And then I noticed this little wriggly worm. How cool. With a little bit of time lapse though, you can see it pulsating. This is fascinating. This is pretty cool. I've never seen this. So I wonder what type of worm this is. If anybody in the comments knows what worm this is, it's pretty awesome. All I have left to do is to change over the lid. I'm gonna add cork. It just looks better under light uh, on my desk and table where I observe it every day. Uh, this should be a good project. I'll keep you guys updated on what I find inside here.